Hey everybody, it's Brad at Daypoor Brothers LLC out in Versailles, Ohio. Gonna do another walk around video followed by an operational video on this 2019 Bobcat T590 that came in and we're putting up for sale. Like always, I'll walk around, I'll talk about the features and functions, I'll get up close to everything, show you everything I see, talk about everything I know. Then of course we'll fire it up, kind of run it through its paces, show you the pins, let you hear the engine lift itself up with the bucket. As always, if you are in the market for a used skid steer, a used piece of construction, or a used piece of farm equipment, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Your likes and subscriptions help other people who are looking for machinery find our videos and find our machines, and we truly, truly do appreciate it. All right, like I said, this one's a 2019 Bobcat T590. Cab heat air, sticks and pedals, power bob attach, deluxe panel, Reverse fan, radio, 2100 pound lift capacity, 1,567 hours. I cranked it up a little while ago, ran it around. Engine sounds good, hydraulics are strong. Pushed into the gravel pile, everything was good there. The top pins up here are pretty tight. The bottom pins do have a little bit of play in them. The tracks, I am gonna say these are probably 45 to 50% tread life. I think I'm being pretty fair there. Little bit of weather cracking in a couple spots, nothing bad. There's definitely a lot of life left in those tracks. Sprockets are very, very good. There's a lot of life left there. As you can see, the side rails here retain a lot of that gray paint. Pretty decent there. The white paint is nice and bright. As you can see, the loader arm here is really good. <clears throat> Down here on the side of the frame is not all scratched up really bad at all. There's a few little chips here and there, but pretty good, honestly. The paint down here on this bottom corner is actually in good shape. It's not peeling up like they do a lot of times. The gray's really good there. Coming around the back side. The orange door's in really good shape. The orange paint's bright. Still not, not all banged up. Doesn't look like they've backed into anything really there. That bottom has a couple little dents in it, but not uncommon there that top shield's in pretty good shape everything looks pretty good back here same thing on this side couple little scratches here there that paint's actually not peeling off though like a lot of them are again i don't see any cracks or welds or patches or anything on the loader arms that decal's peeling just a little bit there again a few little scratches here nothing out of the ordinary at all this side track matches up really well to the other side. Again, sprockets are really good. Those side rails will get on this side. It retains a lot of the gray paint. I don't notice any cracks or welds or plating on the back of the skid steer plate. As you can see, it has a pretty decent bobcat bucket on it. I don't see any big bows in that. There's a little bit of a dent there. It's kind of bent just a little bit. <clears throat> We'll take a look inside the engine compartment here. Okay. Looks pretty good in here, it's dry. It's a little dusty, there's some dirt in here, but it is dry. I don't see any diesel or oil running down the side of the block or anything anywhere. It's a little dusty in here, but not uncommon. Back side of the door is good. We'll go take a look in the cab. <clears throat> As you can see, there is some paint chipped off, chipped off up here, a couple of scratches. Nothing out of the ordinary, but just like to show you everything. There's a little bit of concrete splatter there. That top, that step's in good shape. A little bit of Concrete splatter there. Same thing here, some concrete. All right. Everything down here is in really good shape. Pedals are in good shape. Floorboard's good. Both of your sticks are in good shape. 
That lower cushion's in good shape. I don't see any cuts or tears there. Same thing with the back. I don't see any cuts or tears in that. Like I said, everything's good here. The little rubber pieces are in good shape on this side. A couple of them peeling right there on this side, but everything's pretty good. Your HVAC controls down here. Radio, I don't know if you can hear it, but it is working. Advanced display. 1567 on ours. Everything looks pretty good on these two cylinders up here. I don't think notice anything out of the ordinary. Oh, looks like that grease starts busted off on that one. <clears throat> Again, I don't see anything cracked or welded or plated on the back of that skid steer plate. So everything looks pretty good there. All right, like I said, this is a 2019 T590, 1,567 hours. We'll crank it up and get into an operational video.